So it's a very critical aspect of uh, technology management and uh, possibly one of the most unglamorous aspects also. Having said that, I think there are a lot of uh, <coughs> uh, developments that's happening in storage world today which is making it a little more interesting. Um, it depends on the, your storage need. You know, for any decision at the end of the day you need to see your need, right? So for anything that needs to be centralized, we try to keep storage externally. We try to keep it on one hand so that it's easier to administrate the data. And from information security perspective also, it's much better to have it in one location. So first and foremost, it's of course availability. Having said that the technologies allow you 100% availability now. You know, uh, uh, so virtualization technologies make sure that, uh, you know, if one storage fails, there's another storage that takes over, etc., etc. One of the key challenges that we encounter, uh, and it's more driven by the growth in the data, is tiering of data. Right? The data, especially the unstructured data, is growing phenomenally. The structured data, you are able to a little bit estimate, do some trend projections, etc., and purge and take it to archivers. But unstructured data, there are no algorithms. Right? Uh, fortunately, there are technologies now like D-tube technology, which sort of come to your rescue to help you with that. But I would say the spurt in data growth, especially in unstructured space, is a key challenge. Growth in data is one big. But from corresponding technologies perspective, the pain point is, you know, every vendor, every vendor offers something and doesn't offer everything. Or everything comes at a very huge price. Cost is always a pain point. I think it's a fantastic technology. Uh, there are vendors who are benefiting a lot from offering the virtualization there. The benefits of virtualization needs to be well understood by everyone because there are trade-offs that you make. Okay. So you need to be very careful on what to virtualize and what not to virtualize. There are trade-offs in terms of performance, etc., that you make when you virtualize because there's an additional layer somewhere you're adding. And I, uh, input output, the throughput of that, the latency in the uh, input output can be a huge performance downgrader or upgrader. So from that perspective, one needs to be very, uh, very careful in where to implement storage virtualization, where not. Overall, fantastic concept, implementable, production ready, but you need to choose where or where not to. Couple of virtualization applications that I have seen, I think they do come with good backward compatibility, both in terms of the kind of ports that we are talking about and in terms of the various makes of the uh, storage solutions that have been there. So if you are not really running something which is 20 years old from some obscure uh, uh, organization or at least at this point in time obscure, uh, I don't think you have compatibility issues. 80-85% of the times you are likely to find that the virtualization layer is compatible with those old technologies and it's a very seamless kind of a migration with very little minimal downtime or synchronization time.